There are some growing pains in Leander involving the city's firefighters association. Members there want to bring in civil service. That means using state rules for local governments to hire and promote. The idea is to have set rules no matter who is in charge at City Hall down the road. And they're counting on voters to give them the green light come May. But city bosses say the move could cost the growing Williamson County City a million dollars a year. Throw me in. The city of Leander is in a unique spot in its history, still very much rural, but every year farmland gives way to fast-growing subdivisions and commercial strips. That means more fire and medical calls, more building inspections. The 2011 census found nearly 28,000 people call Leander home. For its firefighters, that growth means it's time to standardize their hiring and disciplinary process through a civil service model. Historically, when the cities get to a certain point, it's time to, time to transition into a civil service type environment. Um, and we felt this was the, the right time to do it. Federal civil service rules were enacted in 1947 to limit corruption and partisan appointments. Most states have similar local government codes now, like Texas, where an exam system, for example, is used for things like promotions. The one thing that's constant is going to be the career firefighter, the guy, the gal that works here for 20, 30 years. And what we want to do is have a continuity of standards so they don't change every time someone comes in. The latest someone to come in is Leander City Manager Kent Cagle. He was hired more than a year ago. He says he's no fan of civil service, which he says would also give the fire department its own vacation and sick leave rules. It's an expensive bureaucratic mess that does not improve public safety. So it's going to cause the taxpayers to spend more money and get nothing in return. How much more money? It could cost us uh, in the neighborhoods of a million dollars a year. In that figure, Cagle cites hiring a civil service commissioner and legal fees, paying for additional vacation and sick leave benefits, also replacing the city's team of about 30 full-time volunteer fire department positions. The Firefighters Association disputes the numbers but believes Leander's growth itself and new tax revenue associated with that would cover added costs. And Matt Shapiro says volunteers only augment existing staff and wouldn't need to be replaced with paid positions. What we might do is blaze a trail where other departments can actually see a career staff that's civil service and a volunteer organization work together. Ten years ago, Leander yeah, FD Lieutenant Nick Topovich started his career as a volunteer in nearby Liberty Hill Fire Department. I know exactly what these guys are doing. They come in here as volunteers. You know, they're doing the same thing I did. You know, they want to come in. They want to, they want to be in the career positions. The Firefighters Association says a civil service structure would attract a higher quality of applicant for those positions and keep existing firefighters from leaving for bigger cities. If a petition gets on the ballot, voters will have the final say May 11th. Voters approve it. We have it. We deal with it. That's, uh, that's what happens. That's the law. If it gets on the ballot and it's approved, um, we're going to deal with it. Now, the city manager says a petition the firefighters circulated now has enough names for the option to go on to the ballot in May, but at least one version includes a civil service option for police as well. The Leander Law Enforcement Association tells KXAN they are meeting next week to decide whether to actually jump on board. And you might think civil service is popular since other cities embrace it, places like Georgetown, Cedar Park, Austin. But Community Impact reports most Leander City Council members are against the plan at the moment. You can read about that and their story tomorrow. You can find a link to that story in our report right now at KXAN.com. All right, coming up.